So what is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Hooked Up Fish and today I'm going to go over my top 5 favorite late fall slash early winter and throughout winter bass fishing lures that I like to use in that time. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, I'm not going to make this video super super long but uh, I'm going to get into it and basically talk to you guys um, about a couple of baits I like using. Alright, so the first bait that I like to use is a moving bait you know late fall early winter those bass are still kind of aggressive they're still kind of chasing shad bluegill whatever to fatten up for the winter time um, so a bait that I would like to throw is a lipless crankbait square bill will work or a rattle trap this is just a regular original rattle trap here and I like throwing this because I like casting it out you can burn it to the boat or you can cast it out and what I like to do is let it sink and then jig it up and let it sink back down and jig it up and let it sink back down again jig it up and that's that's how I normally catch my fish late fall I'm talking late fall early winter um, between October into November into December is when you would throw this when the water temp gets too cold to where you're not seeing any bass feeding you're not seeing anything chasing you're not seeing anything like that you're not getting any luck on that that's when you switch to a different lure but uh, in the beginning, you know, late fall, early winter, like I said, this is when I like to throw um, the moving baits. And, you know, any, any, anything can work. A square bill can work. A lipless crankbait can work. A rattle trap can work. Um, I like throwing this on monofilament. This is just 12-pound P-line fluorocarbon. Monofilament, fluorocarbon, don't use braid. But monofilament, fluorocarbon, those are the two that you want to use when you're fishing rattle trap, square bill, um, Lips crankbait, any any bait that moves, go ahead and use fluorocarbon or monofilament. Okay, so getting into bait number two, this is still kind of a you know bait that you can use that you can fish it several different ways, and that is going to be a jerk bait. Now I have this jerk bait tied on with braid. Don't fish jerk baits with braid. I just have it on here because I wanted to use a different rod for each one, and I don't want to take off this braid just for this video. So just use a jerk bait. This is just a Rapala jerk bait here, but you can use any kind of jerk bait. Um, when those fish are really, really aggressive in late fall going into winter, this is just another bait that you can fish late fall, early winter. When those fish get really aggressive, a jerk bait can be just a dominant bait to use. I'm telling you, man, um, you cast this out and do one, two, three, jerk, stop, one, two, three, jerk, stop, and just play around with it. Play around with the different, you know, styles of jerking the bait. Um, you know, some cases, some cases, you can reel the bait really, really slow to where it barely dives. You can get bites on that. You can cast out there and just jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, stop. And as you stop it is when you get your bite. Um, you just got to play around with it. But again, jerk bait is a great bait to use late fall and early winter time. Okay, so the next bait I'm going to go ahead and use is, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the drop shot. Drop shot is another great bait, especially in the winter time when those fish just aren't chasing at all and they're getting down to the bottom and you can't catch them on anything else um, but bottom baits and you know in the in the winter time you don't really feel the bite. Um, it kind of, they just kind of slurp it up and kind of slowly go and uh, you basically just have to watch your line, feel for any kind of movement at all. Um, but anyways, the, the, the drop shot's a great bait. Um, I uh, did a video on how to fish and use the drop shot so if you guys want to check that out the link will be down in the description but uh, the drop shot's good um, I like to go super super finesse don't go anything too heavy because you don't want to keep bouncing you don't want your bait to do this you want your bait to slowly slowly move in the water um, you can use a small weight this is a 1 16th ounce drop shot weight there if you guys can see that 1 16th ounce drop shot weight um, and then I just have a zoom finesse worm on here you can use literally anything I just like to go super super finesse and when you're jigging um, or lifting your bait, don't don't go too fast. I'm literally just just go like this. Just bounce it slowly. Bounce it. You don't want this bait to go crazy. You know those bass aren't looking for that crazy. They're just looking for that little movement to be you know a little crawfish, little bluegill, little shad, anything like that that they can basically eat. Um, they'll go ahead and slurp that up, set the hook, and you got yourself a fish. So another bait to use in the winter time and late fall. Go ahead and go with the drop shot. Another bottom bait that I like to use, um, especially in the winter time, is a shaky head. This is just a uh, shaky head here. Uh, I like to put lizards on them, I like to put craws on them, finesse worms, trick worms. You, you can basically put anything on a shaky head, but um, the way I like to fish it in the winter time and late fall is with uh, a lizard. I just like to bounce it real slow off the bottom. So you go like this, the lizard will float, you know, and these these tails and appendages on the lizard 
we'll uh, we'll move in the water and just we'll slowly slowly bounce it. Um, you don't want to make too much commotion in the water, but uh, you know a shaky head could be a dominant bait. Um, if you're searching for fish, you know if you're fishing in brush piles or anything like that, those fish get in there real close. And uh, normally when you find one, you can find many more around it. So uh, that's another bait for the fall and winter, shaky head. And the final bait here that I'm going to show you, this is probably the most boringest way to fish, just to be, in my opinion, just to be honest, the most boringest way to fish. But it can catch you some fish, and it can catch you some big fish. Now, this bait is the one and only jig. If the bite is just gets completely tough to where you cannot catch anything, you're not getting bit on anything, that's why I like to go to a jig. Um, and what you do with the jig is, like I said, the most boringest way to fish. You cast it out, and you just slowly, slowly, slowly bring it back to the boat. Slowly just drag that jig. And all you want this jig to do is just drag along the bottom. And maybe you, you, can't, you don't pop it. You don't do anything like you do in the summertime like this. You, know, you don't pop it, bring it back down, bring it back up, pop it like that. You don't do that. Basically what you do is you cast it out and all you do is drag it. Just drag it back to the boat. Lift your thing and it will just drag and stop. And any trailer I have on here will make a little bit of action, get those fish's attention. You won't really feel the bite. That's the hard part also about fishing a jig in the wintertime is you won't really feel the bite. They'll just kind of slurp it up and kind of just go with it. You'll have to you know wait for any movement anytime the fish swims the other way. Anything like that just to feel the bite and then you can set the hook and have yourself another fish. But that is just another bait that I like to use in the wintertime. Um, the wintertime is a tough, tough time to fish, but it can get you some big fish as well. Um, you know, those fish fatten up in the fall for the wintertime, and uh, that's just another way when you can catch some really, some really big fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments down below if you guys want to see any other videos. Uh, I'm going to be making some how-to videos, have some live streams coming up so I can talk to you guys. Um, we've gained a lot of subscribers ever since I did my last live stream, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.